Hey everyone, one of the most watched videos on my channel is when I tried to make a silicon hose using a little extruder like this. Basically it's two holes drilled at right angles and then in one of them I've cut the end off a nail, polished it off a bit with sandpaper and hammered it in there. It didn't work very well the last time I tried it because I used just everyday bathroom kitchen grade silicon. Someone suggested in the comments that I find some high temperature RTV gasket silicon and I actually got this for a pretty reasonable price, apparently for forming gaskets in place in engines and covers and stuff. So this, this should be able to handle fuel, right? And it should also be able to handle high temperatures. So maybe this is the stuff that I need to try. Somebody also suggested that I use hot soapy water Previously, I was trying to use like hydrogen peroxide and stuff to catalyze the silicon uh, just based on reading that I'd done on the internet and that didn't really seem to do much. Hot water definitely makes it cure quicker uh, and I'm hoping that the soap will stop it from sticking to itself. So, let's give this a go. A little bit more. So I have put a whole bunch of detergent in this water here. I didn't stir it up to make bubbles. Oh yeah. I don't know how that went. Last time I used water that was closer to boiling and I feel like it stopped them from, like it cured the outside layer a bit faster than this. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong here. It's very different um, silicon. Uh, anyway, I'll let these cure up and we'll see how we went. Alrighty, it's been about half an hour. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Well, it feels soapy. Uh, we've got a, a hole. It's kind of hard to film. I can only see the shiny parts. Right. It seems to have a hole all the way through. Uh, we'll have to cut it there. Haha! We have a tube. <laughs> uh, it says it takes 24 hours to cure fully. First of all, how flame retardant are we? That's interesting. Very unexpected. That would have got pretty hot before catching fire. Wow, okay, that's a little scary. Ooh. Wow. Never seen that happen before with silicon. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, it's really tough to put out as well. Ooh. Let's get that outside. Now very carefully, we're gonna pour in a little bit of fuel and we'll cover it over. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Anyway, ooh, that looks tasty, doesn't it? Uh, about that big. There we are. All right, so here's our little piece of tube. It's, uh, it's very pliable, very soft to the touch. Might be because it's not cured properly yet, but I don't have patience. So here it goes into the fuel and we'll cover that over and leave it for 24 hours and see how we went. Well, it's only been an hour or two and uh, that's a fail. Look how much that's expanded by. Let's get him out of there. Ooh. Oh, it's so like gelatinous. Ooh. Squishy. 
Yep, that's definitely failed. So, form in place gasket sealant. Also, I can't really take the fuel. I wonder if that's a desirable characteristic for a gasket to swell up like that. Still probably, still probably do the job. It's just very, well, it's pretty resistant to tearing. I don't think that'll take very much pressure or vacuum before the tube collapses, unfortunately. Oh well. If you want to see how I made the extruder, check out my previous video. Link in the, the, the doodling. Do. Hmm, what am I going to do with this failed experiment? It has been soaked in fuel. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs>